looking at this bench, you probably assume it's made of plastic. Well, you're right, it is made of plastic, but what's more impressive is where the plastic came from. Ziploc bags, grocery bags, produce bags, all of that. Um, made this bench. From bags to bench. Thank you for calling Mouse Trading Post. This is Emily. How can I help you? Emily Pop started the project in April with no expectations. I said, okay, let's roll with it. Emily's goal was to get 500 pounds of plastic in six months. By June, she had already reached her goal, but kept on collecting. We were bringing probably like six to 10 bags a week. So like, a crazy amount of plastic uh, was coming in. It was so much more than I ever thought it would be. The final tally was just over 3,000 pounds of plastic collected. 3,000 pounds that would have ended up in a landfill. I know like a lot of people don't do a lot of recycling just because it's not necessarily convenient up here. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're lacking in, in that. Emily thought a bench would be successful because it's a tangible award for the community's good deed. Now that it's over, Emily has heard a lot of interest for a second project. They were like, oh, like, are we going to start another one? Like, when are we doing it again? Like, what am I supposed to do with all my plastic now? Emily plans to start another collection in the spring. Right now, she wants people to be proud of what they helped create. We wouldn't have been able to do this without the whole entire community, so it should be somewhere that the entire community can be happy with it. The bench sits inside Mel's right now, but Emily wants it to be out in the community where everyone can enjoy it. Reporting for Newswatch 12 in Rhinelander, I'm Morgan Johnson.